Oh, his life come to. <laughs> Stopped off for some water. I don't know what we're gonna say then. I'm just... Stopped off for some water. <laughs> and that's it. Final little push up this last section. Bruh. And then at the top of here, we head left up towards Esk Horse. Bruh. And then from there, we can go up towards Great End, turn left, up onto Broad Crag, and then up onto Scarfell Pike, the highest mountain in England. Right, I just want to say, I do not have a clue what the hell that is on my head. When I got home to edit the video now, obviously I've checked it and I've got some bloody cocoa pop or something on my head. It could even be a chocolate raisin from when I did Yorkshire Free Peaks and it were in my own bag. Or it could be a bug, I don't know. But anyway, it goes away after the next clip. Just thought I'd mention it. I'd like to say we got lucky with the weather again. Bruh. That sun is beaming. So hot. I'm dripping like an egg sandwich. We're only a couple miles into the hike, if that. Zero wind as well, which is good when it comes to camping later on, but not really good for hiking in the heat. Definitely contemplating looking for somewhere to have a quick little dip later on. I've not brought a towel with me, but I might better just use one of my little base layers in my bag just to dry my sin off. But we'll see. The first mission is to head up Scarfell Pike and then we're going to take it from there. Not even sure where we're camping tonight. But like I say, take it as it comes. You're not short for places to camp around here. Let me tell you. So inviting to just jump in there. Perfectly clear plunge pools. But it's too early in the hike for me to start having a dip. I won't be asked walking any further if I do. Evening. Morning YouTube. What oh, a slog. Oh, this is what it's all about. Just off the summit of Hill Crag. Great gable looking menacing. And there, just in the center of the screen, you'll better see the Scaffold Pike summit platform. So nearly there.
Now that is probably the busiest I've seen it ever. And that is probably because we've had really poor weather for the last month or so. So this is like one of the first decent Saturdays we've had in ages. And with it being, like I say, a Saturday, you get a lot of day trippers out and a lot of people bagging it for the first time, which is good to see. I don't mind the fact that it's busy. It's not like you hang about here all day, is it? Get up there, come back down. It's just good to see so many people out enjoying it. So once you've made it up to Broad Crag, which is what this is, it's just the final push then up to Scaffold Pike. And so this is probably the most difficult bit because of the loose scree. Hopefully you can see the people on there so you can get a perspective of how steep it is and the gradient. Looking forward to this bit. Not in the slightest, you said. <laughs> now it's a lot easier when you can see the finish line. Although it's not the finish line for the day. It's the finish line for this little section. Look at Sam, I come out and go. swallowed by the clag. So we've been up to the summit of Scarfell Pike and then we've dropped back down and instead of going up to Broad Crag we're going to drop down the gap and jump on the corridor route back towards Great and Green Gable. Hopefully it's going to open up soon. I can just see Great Gable in the background. Clag's clearing a little bit. I need to take these sunglasses off to look a right tit actually. I had no sun for about three hours. I'll tell you something, that bit from Broad Crag in the gap coming down towards the corridor route, this might be part of the actual corridor route, I'm not actually sure. I haven't got a clue, but I know it goes on to the corridor route either way, but yeah, this is a proper little slidey experience. All it takes is one person behind you to have a little slip and avalanche is going. But Sam's enjoyed it.
Drop a little scramble. And then you go to that side, yeah? Oh, has life come to <laughs> So just on the corridor route, on the way back to Stayhead. Aching a bit now, actually. Bit of a slog that up from Seafway, up to Scarfell Park. Back down corridor route. I need corridor to my bedroom. He needs corridor to his bedroom. He's feeling it, a bit of fire ache and that, getting that burn coming down. But then I've just kindly informed him that we plan on going up that beast, do a camp on Green Gable tonight. I wasn't planning on really, but it's there, innit? Look at it. It's got to be done. So our last push up to Green Gable. Weather's perfect, really. It's plenty of clag over Scarfell range but there's no wind at all so that's perfect for our tents and I know you can get a sunrise and a sunset on Green Gable depending on where you pitch so it looks like that's the plan so back down the corridor route now to Stayed we might even have a little dip in there we'll see it's getting a bit chilly so we'll have to decide what to do I guess the sun will decide that for us because it's trying to come out but you never know Anyway, best bash on, plenty of miles to do. Fill up his water soon as well, before we get up to Green Gable. So we just finished the corridor route. Just about to see Stired Tarn, around this corner. Tiny little breeze, very welcoming, let me tell you. So we could just camp down at Stayed, but that'd be the easy thing to do, wouldn't it? And I want the views. I want a sunset. I want a sunrise. So it's worth putting in that little bit more effort. I don't know where this path's gone, but we're off down to chill by Stayed Town for a bit. Have a little break. Dip my big toe in water and that. Enough cold water therapy for me. <laughs> right, we've had his little swim. Stired tan. I hope it is stired tan. And it hasn't been sprinkling tan this whole time and I've called it stired. But anyway, a bit of cold water therapy and that. Now I've got to go up this beast. Big old green gable. Right up through crack of the arse, up to Windy Gap. You just gotta navigate across this bog field first. But it's been proper chilling. I'm good that. I 
done this walk up this gap towards Windy Gap. This will be the third time now. And last two times, pretty sure I said I won't be coming up here anytime soon again. I'm in a rush. This is a slog after doing Scarfell Pike already today. So there you go, that's the first. My Sawyer filter bag's broken. Probably me being a bit rough with it, scrunching it all up and that. I'll have to buy a replacement for that. If you know a better bag, a better brand, I'm gonna stick with this filter though, because I really like it, but if you've got any more bags, let me know in comments. Stopped off for some water. I don't know what we're gonna say then. I've stopped off for some water. <laughs> and that's it. Your bag broke. Yeah, my bag broke. Pants are down, everything. <laughs> wow. Haggard. What a day. Ho ho ho. Yeah, boy. We got Voos. Three sixty Voos. I am frigged. That ain't easy, that in this sweltering heat. Put your backpack on. Fair play. Let's find somewhere to pitch this tent. So we're just about to reach the summit of Green Gable, and you've got a beautiful array of pictures to choose from. Panoramic views all the way around. Love to see it. Brucey bonus as well, if it's got a signal. Let's have a look. Don't matter if it don't, but it certainly does. 5G, two bars.
Right, here we are pitched up on Green Gable. Beautiful pitch. We're a bit close to be honest, but that's because we put that tent up and then I realised I didn't really have a flat spot with decent ground for me to put my pegs in to get that land shanty up. So Sam's in the Naturite Cloud Up 2, decent tent. I'm in the Free F UL Gear Land Shan 2. The best tent ever. Tell me I'm wrong in comments. So it's nice to be able to see how far we've actually come. You can see the Scarfell Pike Summit from our pictures here. We're just off the Green Gable Summit. So I'll probably take a little wander up there later on with a nice coffee or something. Sam's been on bevies already, cracked open a San Miguel. So I'm gonna make some noodles now, have a little bit of scran, and then I've got some pasta for later on. Budget life and that. I try to keep weight down so I didn't bring a load of, not on me, I mean the weight down on the pack. So I didn't bring a load of cooking gear. Just some simple boil and go meals. Put in some hectic miles today and done a lot of elevation as well. I'm just walking up to the summit. Just gonna check this sunset. Hopefully. Oh mate. What a night. We should better see our tents just there. Scarfell Pike summit there. Scarfell, there, Great Gable, there. Little windbreak in here. Perfect place. Chill out and watch this sunset. Well, we just finished at the summit, but we're on our way back up. So I've just seen some cracking looking red skies poking through. What a night. Sun's supposed to have set ages ago. But it's just so light out here. So I don't know if you've seen on the time lapse there, sorry about the lighting. Just shared a bit of that sunset with a lad called Warren, he just came up, said he recognised me. So nice to meet you mate if you're watching. So yeah, that's more or less that sunset done. Back to the tent, get this pasta on. And then probably have a relatively early night to be fair. Can't see me staying up for too much longer. But yeah, it's always good to meet subscribers. Camera's not picking it up at all too good, but you can see so many head torches going up to Scarthel Pike. You can only presume they're doing the free peaks challenge. Seeing a few head torches about here. Fully on that's gone awful man. It's because it's pitch black out here. What a tent, what a tent. Right people, bedtime now. Just had one of them pot noodle, pasta pot, bloody carbonaras, whatever they're called. Pretty decent, you know. You don't get many calories in them, so I won't rely on it as your main meal. But I've had that plus one of them big 
super noodles, bachelors, things, whatever they are. Beef, barbecue beef. Decent. So yeah, it beats paying eight pound on one of them bloody boiling bags. And I probably got just as many calories between those two pasta pots for like, I don't know, less than half the price, probably a third of the price. So that could be way forward for me. Just need to find a bit more variety. Can't be having barbecue beef every time. Anyhow, I'll see you in the morning. Peace out. In a bit. Moon's out, I've seen it, Red Moon. Right a bit. Good night, YouTube. Night night. See you tomorrow. You off to sleep, Sam? Yeah. Yeah, fast asleep. Scaffold Park, Green Gable. Backache, knee ache. Alright, see you tomorrow. In a bit, bye. See you later, bye. Five twenty a.m. That wind has been insane all night. It's calmed down a little bit now. Typically, when it's time to get up soon. So I'm just getting a coffee on the go. There you go. Right, people, all packed away now. Leave no trace as always. We didn't get a sunrise. As you can see, we're all clagged in. So, the plan now is to just meander on down the side of Green Gable, up onto Base Brown, and then we'll drop down into Seathwaite. A steady couple mile walk. Nothing too crazy, as long as we can find the path in this clag. Right, guys. Like the video, drop a comment, hit subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out in a bitch.